Tell us why this type of focus on early achievement is detrimental to most of the population. I talked to a fabulous woman named Carol Dweck. Carol Dweck wrote a best-selling book called Mindset in 2006 and she teaches psychology at Stanford and she has a freshman course and she told me when I interviewed her she got very serious. She put her hands on the table and leaned across and looked at me and said the kids that I see at Stanford today who by the way got through you know only a 3% admissions rate at Stanford today. In every respect, these kids are on the early achievement track, right? And she said they're exhausted and brittle and they don't want to mar their perfect records. That's kind of a bad starting. That's not what it was supposed to be all about. Kids should be jumping for joy that they got into a university like Stanford. Now they're terrified that they're going to be held to even more pressure and their shoulders are tight and they don't want to experiment, what kind of an adult is that person going to be? And employers don't like it either. Fortune magazine, our, our lovely competitor Fortune, did uh, a cover story in 2017 in their annual Best Places to Work issue. And they asked CEOs of tech companies and biotech companies, what do you value most in employees? The word that came up most often was curiosity and then followed by words like resilience, compassion, communication skills, leadership skills. And you go, you're not screening for those kind of employees. How do, are you just waiting for them to be revealed randomly, you know? Um, and so those are great late, blooming, late bloomer skills, but they're not skills that get surfaced by standardized tests and schools we see it today. Some of them will surface in extracurriculars like sports, Certainly resilience will surface in sports or other extracurriculars, courage, leadership, some of those things, which is some, why some employers are savvy enough to like people who have excelled in extracurriculars, bravo for them. But a lot of people like myself are simply immature. We're exhibiting none of those, none of those. And um, I think there's a vast reservoir of under-tapped, underused talent that sits inside of companies today where we've typecast people because they went to the, they didn't go to a prestigious school. They just don't get the same respect. They're working hard, they're producing good work, but they're typecast for who they were early. And then, you know, others of the dysfunctions that, uh, that this early bloomer obsession have caused, I, I mentioned the rising rates of anxiety, depression, and even sadly, sadly suicide.